kumusta na kayong lahat? Nako, I'm sure eh, most of us are still anxious because meron pa nga tayong ECQ. Pero I hope that all of you are safe and healthy in your home. So, napansin ko din na dahil nga ECQ, most people nowadays pass their time by cooking or by baking for their families. Either matagal na kayo nagluluto or you're just learning now. So, nakakatawa na pag pumupunta ako or nagtitingin ako sa social media, nakikita ko na most people now are being productive by cooking or baking for their families. So, I'm here to share another recipe with you na sana naman ay magawa nyo rin at may dagdag nyo dun sa mga natutunan yung recipes during the quarantine. And this dish is called my prawn pasta in creamy tomato sauce. So, let's start cooking! Okay, let's start. So, painitin na muna natin yung ating uh, pan. We need Butter for this recipe, kasi gusto ko yung flavor ng butter yung ma-add dun sa ating prawns. But, as most of you know, ang ating butter, pabalis siyang masunog. So, I'll be adding olive oil para hindi masunog yung ating butter. So, olive oil and butter. Yan. So, hantayin lang natin mag-melt yung ating butter with the oil. Okay, then we do our usual gisa. Iinit na. Let's add in our white onions. Okay, white onions. Let's just saute this until it becomes soft and translucent. Okay, and then we add in our garlic. Here, minced garlic. So, I'm using 10 cloves of garlic for this recipe because as I've mentioned in my previous vlogs, I really like the flavor of garlic. Okay, so once you see na translucent ang ating onions at na golden brown na at fragrant ang ating garlic. Okay, Let na, let's now get our prawns. So, our prawns have been healed and deveined already. So, huwag niyo tatapon yung pinagbalatan, lalo na yung ulo ng ating prawns kasi pwede niyo siyang pakuluan at gamitin as a stock. So, this has um, salt and pepper already. And then, I have here our dried basil. So, let's add it here. And I'm gonna use my hands. Don't worry, my hands are clean. So, we'll start to cook this into our pot. Okay. Ayan. So, as you all know, ang prawns natin mabilis yung maluto. We don't wanna overcook this. So, pag nakita nyo na, nag-turn ng parang bright orange yung one side, you can now switch it to the other side. Okay, so, na-turn ko na to the other side yung ating prawns, and this is cooked already. Let me just get a plate and set aside ko muna to. Para lang hindi siya ma-overcook. And later on, I'll add it to the dish again. Okay, so ito na yung ating prawns. Let me just set this aside. And then we continue with our pasta sauce. So I'm using this. So you could buy this from the grocery. Pwede rin kayong gumawa ng sarili yung marinara sauce. Pero you could easily just get this from the grocery para save you time. So that's our marinara sauce. And then we add, you could actually add cream or milk, but I'm using milk for this recipe. So, low heat. Let's add this. Our milk. I'm using um, whole milk or full cream milk. So, just mix it together with your marinara sauce. And then, we season this with some salt and pepper. Freshly cracked pepper. There you go. And we add a little bit of sugar to balance off the flavor of the salt. So, we have to make one sweetness, rinsha, and of course, we'll get yung tangy flavor from the tomatoes. Ayan. So, pag nakikita nyo meron ng mga tiny bubbles. So, tiny bubbles. 
<laughs> so, alam niyo na nagsisimmer siya. So, let me just try our sauce first. Mmm, sarap! Okay, but I want my pasta sauce na medyo may konting kick. So, let's add a little bit of red chili flakes. Para may konting kick lang. Of course, if you're feeding your kids and they don't like spicy food, just omit it. Pwede rin naman. So, let's just mix this. Okay, and now we add back our prawns. So not all of it, kasi yung iba, I will leave some for plating later. Diba? Para maganda tignan. So, dutuin natin yung prawns together with the sauce. Para maglasa siya. Actually, kung wala kayong pasta noodles, if you don't have spaghetti noodles, pwede rin namang ito na lang and then just eat this with rice. But since I have spaghetti, dadagdag natin to. Okay. There. So, lagyan natin ngayon yung ating spaghetti noodles. Let's see. First, ayoko kasi bakulangan ng sauce. Kailangan ay tama lang. Go with the heat. We don't wanna overcook. So, as you can see, yung ating sauce is creamy and tomato-y with our prawns. There you go. Just mix everything and I'm gonna plate it already. Mmm! Okay, so let's put the prawns which I set aside earlier. Para na maganda siya tignan, di ba? Kasi pag hindi tayo mag-set aside ng prawns for plating, parang malulunod yung ating prawns inside the pasta. It's always nice to eat with your eyes. So kailangan exciting yung ating, or it's exciting yung itsura ng ating kakainin. Okay. Sprinkle it on top of your prawns para may greens kayo. And if we have parmesan cheese, so much the better kasi mas masarap yung dish pag may parmesan cheese. You can buy the one na isi-shave nyo pa, the fresh parmesan, pero if you don't have that, pwede rin naman to. Okay. There you have it! Wow! More cheese, the better. And there you go, di ba? Another very simple dish which you could cook for your family, di ba? You don't have to be an expert cook to make this. This is something that I'm sure your family will enjoy and love. So I hope that you learned something today. Sa lahat ng nanonood sa aking channel, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. I hope that you all keep safe, stay at home, and of course, God bless you all. See you next time!